Yo, people, it is a uh, J Reaper X. This will be what if Deku had Riatsu. It's been a long time since I've posted a video. Sorry for that. Anyways, I decided to make this video, you know, after Christmas. Why not? So let's get started. So Izuku, four years old. He's running around, playing with his toys, and then he remembers that he has to go to the court doctor. So he goes to his mother, taps her leg, and he says, Mom, Mom, we have to go to the court doctor, remember? And then Izuku's mom is like, Yes, sweetie, you're right. Completely forgot. Anyways, get dressed. And we'll go, to, we'll go to the car and drive to the court doctor. Izuku gets dressed. And uh, his mom puts his seatbelt. And then they go to the court doctor's office. They're currently waiting in line. And then their names gets called. After uh, some time, the game gets called. Yes, sorry. And then the doctor greets the both of them, and they greet him back. Then you know, the court doctor draws blood from Izuku, and they um. Sorry, and the quirk doctor, you know, he draws blood from Izuku, and he then puts it in the quirk machine, waits some time, and when the machine, you know, alerts the doctor, the doctor goes and checks, but he's absolutely no information, no information whatsoever, nothing, literally nothing, not the name, not the abilities. What it could possibly do, how to train it, absolutely nothing. But the machine registered that there is a quirk. Just that he, the machine cannot identify it at all. So, quirk doctor comes back, looks kind of disappointed, like feels bad also for the kid. And then he just says, Ma'am, the good news is your son has a quirk. Izuku is like really rejoicing right now. He's the happiest kid alive right now. And Ingo also is happy for his son. But then the quirk doctor says, The bad news, ma'am, sadly, is that we have absolutely no information whatsoever about your kid's quirk. Izuku gets a bit down, but he's still happy because he knows he has a quirk. So he can still be, become a hero. Anyways, after some time, the quirk doctor says, Well, ma'am kid i hope you're not disappointed and i really hope you find out you find out what your court can do anyways have a good day inko you know thanks the doctor for the examination izuku does so too and they get out after that they go home and izuku goes to sleep kind of disappointed after some time, uh, Izuku wakes up in a dark place. He walks around and around that dark place for quite some time. And then he sees it. Lights. A lot of them. Quite a few of them. He didn't know why there were lights. All he knew that is that there were lights. 
all of them were lined up different colors and then after some time they formed into humans or what appeared to be humans and izuku was quite terrified because of their sizes they were literally huge so after all of them formed one person went at the front that person had a long white beard and then he went down to izuku's level and he greeted him by saying Hey there, kid. My name is Gerisai Yamamoto, and we're here to teach you about your power. And Izuku is absolutely flabbergasted, and he's also incredibly excited. And then Izuku is like, Really? You're gonna teach me about my quirk? And then all the people in there are like quirk what in the world is that and Izuku proceeds to explain to them about what quirks are and you know they all nod in understanding and Yamamoto speaks again and he says yes we are going to teach you about your quirk anyways after that, all the rest of the members introduced themselves. And they start training. And uh, Izuku, he's a uh, master of his power, which is copy. Basically, copy every. <laughs> every attack that um, uses Riatsu. I'm so sorry for what happened before. Anyways, yes, so you can use any attack. Basically, you can copy any attack that uses Riatsu. So, by that time, sadly, all the souls, they vanished. Every single one of them, but now Izuku has you know some skills. He has their Gankais, their Shikais, their techniques, and all that. Anyways, so after um, we go to Izuku currently, he's in class. He hasn't been boasting about his power, but he did show to his class that he was no weakling. And he made a friend by doing that. That friend is Katsuki Bakugo. Yes, so Katsuki Bakugo and him, they're great friends. They train with them together. And they both have the same goal. They're basically kind of rivals, but they're not mean to each other, you know. Anyways. So both of them are walking to school, to class. They arrive, last up middle school. So the teacher gets quick, and he's like, huh, I want to go home, so. Kids, I know it's the last day. You're supposed to not have a lot of work, but... You have to fill out, fill out these papers for your career choices. And then you know, all the kids are sighing and like, they're mad and basically booing the teacher. And then the teacher is like, just kidding. I know you all want to become heroes. He throws the papers in the air and the kids start cheering. And they start using their quirks illegally and the teacher is like whoa 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 you can't use your quirks in class now can you and shut up some other people are still doing their exams 
then the whole class just shuts off. Um, so, then the teacher is like, hmm, we have two students that want to go to UA. One of them, Katsuki Bakugo. The other one, Izuku Midoriya. And the whole class, you know, obviously knew that the power duo, obviously, would be going to UA. I mean, it was obvious. They were so strong, smart, and they had great mastery over their quirks. So the teacher says, uh, that was expected, obviously. You're strong, intelligent, have good mastery of your quirks. So I wish you luck and please protect the city as future heroes both of them smile and they nod their heads then the bell rings and they both get out of here so um they go their separate ways izuku goes down the bridge and again and he encounters the sludge villain Sludge Villain is like literally trying to take him over right now, but Izuku's like not feeling anything at all. And just gets out of the Sludge Villain. He summons a sword. He puts it in the air and he yells, Getsuka Tenshu! Then he swings his sword down and a lot of Ratu energy, concentrated Ratu energy, falls from the sword. And Absolutely obliterates the sludge villain into oblivion. <clears throat> he then climbs into a plastic bottle right next to him and puts all the sludge in it. <clears throat> he just gets out of here. All Might lands right next, you know, like right after he left. And he sees the sludge villain bottled up, literally shaking. And he's in his head, he says, Hmm, I wonder who could have possibly done that. He just shrugs his shoulder and he goes to put the sludge villain, uh, turn in the sludge villain to the police. Anyways, so, uh, Izuku gets home and he, you know, he opens up the TV and the news are playing right now. And then he hears that a kid has been caught by the sludge villain. And he, you know, thinks that the heroes are doing anything, but they can clearly see, like, they're doing absolutely nothing to help the kid. And, you know, when the camera zooms in, they hear, well, Izuku hears, ah, we can't use our course in this situation. We have to wait for another hero. He just gets kind of pissed off hearing that. And then he, you know, when the camera zooms in closer to the kid and he sees that it's his friend, Katsuki Bakugo. He wonders how he got caught, but he has no time to play or to watch any further. So he flash taps to the incident. And then he teleports right in front of the sludge villain. And as soon as the sludge villain sees him, he shakes uncontrollably. And then Izuku uh, summons a sword. And he starts getting taller and taller. Basically, like, almost two times taller than All Might. His skin turns red. His canines start growing and growing and growing. And then his sword turns into a cleaver, a huge cleaver. And he looks at the sludge villain. 
and the sludge villain starts shaking even more. All the people in the incident are also, you know, shocked. They're not shaking, but they're quite shocked. See that young man turn into this hideous beast. Anyways. So after that, Izuku just raises a sword. But the sludge villain, you know, is like, No, 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 no please, I'll do whatever you want. And then Izuku, you know, puts his sword down. And he says, Give me the kid, and I'll let you go. The sludge villain nods. And he even removes Bakugo. And the sludge villain tries to escape. Where Izuku just swings his sword at him. Obliterating him. Sludge villain, before he passes out, he says, But, but, but you... You said I'm, you would let me go. And then he passes out. Yuzuku puts Bakugo on top of his head and he just flash steps out of there. Then de-transforms or removes, you know, untransforms from his bankai. You know, Kenpachi's bankai that he kind of copied, you know. Yeah. <clears throat> and he de-summons his sword. And, you know... He checks up on Bakugo, basically slapping him repeatedly until Bakugo wakes up. And Bakugo is like, damn, you saved me again, huh? Sludge Villain was crazy. How did you do it? And Izuku looks at Bakugo and he says, I used Kenpachi this time. And yes, uh, Bakugo knows about the members and all that. And he's like, you use him? Or for what? He's a beast. You should be using him against unbeatable monsters. And Izuku shrugs his shoulder. He's like, well, I just wanted to flex, you know. Flex my power a bit. Make, you know, villains fear me. Then Bakugo just slaps his forehead and he just sighs. And they both go home. Anyways. Um, we're gonna skip. Actually, yeah, we're gonna skip. After the 10 months of training, Izuku All Might never had any contact. All Might is still deciding who his successor should be. And yeah. Izuku, you know, he didn't really have to train. Well, he trained either way, you know, trained with Bakugo. And Bakugo unlocks something. Something that is quite, you know, special. He was able to utilize Ryatsu soul energy. Izuku was really, really shocked incredibly shocked he thought he was the only one that could possibly use it but looks like the training like the bakugo training with him paid off so after that be trained and trained and trained in the mindscape and bakugo finally mastered his style i guess his reaction so basically, his weapon, his Zampakuto, you could say, wasn't actually a Zampakuto. It wasn't actually a sword. It was brass, or well, basically, iron gloves. Fireproof. Indestructible. Like he could call them at will. And could make bigger and better explosions with the gloves. Which he was really surprised about. Anyways, so yeah. And yes, he did achieve Bankai since, you know, Mindscape, Time Slower, all that. Yeah. He also has a Hishikai. And he has, you know, some techniques. Anyways, so after that training and that unexpected event. They're both standing right next to each other 
in front of Iwe. They both fist bump each other and they uh, say it to each other. Good luck, man. Hope you pass. And they both head to the exam nation room. <clears throat> I'm gonna skip the read written exam because it's really not fun. So yeah. Izuku really smart, Bakugo really smart. They got like hundred percent both of them. In under in under thirty minutes. Let's not exaggerate, you know. Anyways, so they're both assigned, they've both been assigned uh, gates, and they're just waiting for people to come. Anyways, after some time, every single participant arrives at each gate, and then the present might, you know, he, you know, is like, Good morning, participants. As you may or may not know, this is the physical test of UA. I hope you pass. If you don't, don't be sad. You can try next year. Anyways, Izuku sees that the door is slightly open. So he just uh, flash steps inside. He sees multiple robots all targeted, all targeting him. And then he summons his sword. I still haven't found a name for it yet. I'm gonna find a name for it soon, hopefully. So, yeah. So, he summons his uh, sword, yes. And then uh, it starts bursting into flames, which gets endeavors, you know attention yes he's watching and no he's not abusive and all that no 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 he's not into that he's not so yes so it bursts into flames and then all the flames they just stop they literally just stop stop and stop and then the tip of the sword is just smoking that's all there is. And his sword is, you know, not getting rusty, but he has it has burn marks. So then Izuku jumps up and lightly taps the robot with the tip of his sword. Then there's just a huge hole. And it starts burning and getting turned into ash. Then spams that move with all the robots. Which is really, really pressing endeavor. And all the heroes in the observation room right now. Like, they're absolutely flabbergasted. They've never seen this type of power, this type of skill from um, a kid before. Anyways, after some time, Izuku just takes a break, goes on a building. But of course, Nezu has a different plan. So he just summons the zero pointer. <clears throat> Izuku, you know, feels the ground shaking and he looks and he sees the zero pointer. And he is he's surprised, you know, he never knew that in the exam there'll be quite a robot this big. But hey, he's not scared at all. He's faced way worse than that. Way worse. But then, Izuku sword starts to change. It turns into a huge um, cleaver. He turns twice the size of All Might. And he, his skin turns red. Canine's growing. And he just roars. And the roar can be heard across the whole examination, you know, field. So, um, after he roared, all attention went on him. And he just jumped up and splashed his zero pointer. 
cutting it into a million pieces and making even making sure that nobody gets hurt Yeah, so all attention is on him. He's currently, he just slashed the zero pointer, cut into a million pieces, making sure that absolutely nobody gets hurt. Then he jumps down, de transforms, and uses a sword, you know, in victory, triumph. And everyone starts cheering for him. Heroes, you know, in the examination room, or sorry, the observation room. They're absolutely flabbergasted. And they're surprised and, you know, yeah, of course, surprised, shocked. And then, uh, they declare, you know, President Mike declares that the exam is, is over. And you know, all the kids they go back home. Izuku go, goes back home, and uh, this is where I'm gonna end the video, guys. Make sure to like, subscribe if you want, and uh, give me suggestions of ideas of uh, ideas of what ifs that you would like me to do. Anyways, peace out.